Hey, what's up everybody? Tanner Slay is coming at you guys with my class setup video. Now, these classes are going to be particularly to the assault kind of players. If you've always been using an assault rifle or you've always been that kind of player that, you know, sits back and, let you know, tries to stay uh, with your teammates and starts using uh, the assault rifles in this game or any kind of other game. But uh, I've noticed that in this game, getting into my classes, uh, my first class here, as you can see, is the ACR with the red dot with the proficiency kick. Uh, I have noticed that this gun is really, really nice. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing as Modern Warfare 2, just a tad bit uh, with the damage-wise taken down a bit. But overall, with the kick proficiency on it, it's pretty much the same thing like Modern Warfare 2. So if you you know like the one in Modern Warfare 2, you should enjoy this one a lot. Uh, as on all my classes, my uh, Magnum is always uh, the best you know sidearm to have for me anyways. I noticed that the machine pistols in this game really do take a long time to you know whip out and they do some kind of fancy kind of uh, motions to whip them out sometimes and it does t kind of take quite a bit. So I've also noticed that um, it's always been faster to pull out the magnum so you know it's got a decent amount of bullets in a clip and uh, it's pretty decently strong. So that's why I have that. Uh, Semtexes and frag grenades. Uh, my All my classes I have Semtexes but uh, all the nades in this game are pretty much dumbed down a lot. Uh, you'll hear a lot of teams and probably your teammates in the future complain about getting hit markers on grenades. If you already haven't, it's just because the grenades in this game are really, really dumbed down. I have no idea why. Maybe they thought in Modern Warfare 2 they were way too strong. But, you know, I've always um, been using the Semtexes. I've never really dealt with frags unless you uh, put them on a map if you uh, like have learned any kind of uh, pre-nades which I have not found yet, so you know I'm going to stick with using some Texas. Uh, concussion grenades, pretty much stun grenade. Uh, I've noticed that using flashes in this game, they're not really as strong in Modern Warfare, like as in Modern Warfare 2, but uh, you know in this game you really have to throw it dead on the person to get them fully flashed. If you just throw it up in the air and you get a hit marker, you think you know you've dazed them, you think you can run in and get the kill, in all reality, in about like a second and a half, the flash completely fades away and they're back to normal again. So, I, in all reality, I would probably use the uh, stun grenades just because I think they're more effective. But uh, that's why I have those. Uh, for this ACR class, I've always been pretty much a slayer. As you guys obviously know, Tanner slays is how I get you know, the slaying role from me. But sleight of hand, I've noticed in the ACR, you can really take enemies down quick, especially with the second uh, per quick draw, you know, it really helps uh, throwing uh, your equipment faster with whether if it's nades or uh, your secondary grenades, and uh, it's definitely zooming down the site. It really helps out a lot. It really, you know, brings the slayer out of uh, out of the player, and so it really helps you out a lot. Uh, and as, as always on all my classes, uh, as you see, dead silence is probably the best third perk. So that's my breakdown of uh, my first class. Now I could get some hate from this, but Everybody knows that the Type 95 is probably the strongest gun in this game. Now, I do think you unlock this gun around level 32. I'm pretty sure that's right. But um, I'm using the red dot on this with no reticle. On all my red dots, I really don't see the point of having some kind of reticle. I think that kind of throws me off in my head just because that really wasn't kind of a deal in Modern Warfare 2. So I've been always kind of that player to just use the red dot. And uh, so I pretty much have gold on all my attachments, just or all my guns, because... Uh, everything is unlocked in private matches, so that's why you'll see everything golden. And uh, I have impact proficiency on this one just because if you hit somebody with this, you want the kill. It doesn't matter what range you are, whether if it's across the map, close range, or you know uh, mid-range. It really does not matter. You want the kill as fast as you can. Uh, so that is why I have impact on it, just to give it a little extra kind of uh, kind of push towards uh, you killing your own enemy. And um, so. Again, using the Semtexes and Stun Grenades is what I pretty much have in all my classes with the Magnum. And as you can see, I have Extreme Conditioning on this class. Now, I started out playing this game with Sleight of Hand, and I started to do kind of bad with it, actually. I think zooming in like with this gun actually threw me kind of off a bit. I don't know why. I really didn't use the FAMAS Sleight of Hand too much in Modern Warfare 2, so I think that's why it kind of you know set me back a little bit. Uh, if you did use Sleight of Hand um, FAMAS in Modern Warfare 2, I think the Sleight of Hand uh, Type 95 will probably be your, you know, your best bet with it. But um, you know, if you have Quick Draw on, it's pretty much like having Sleight of Hand, 
So, if you know, I would just put my first perk as ex extreme conditioning just to get, you know, kind of balance things out. Like, why would you want to zoom in, like, twice as fast if you can still zoom in fast and get the extra sprint? So, I think uh, that is why I use the uh, extreme conditioning just to get around the maps a lot quicker with a pretty strong gun, feeling confident, do doing whatever you can do for your team. But uh, this, the third class that I have right now is going to be the SCAR. Uh, very, very cool gun in this game. Uh, I think they added 10 more bullets to the uh, magazine in this uh, game. So, as you can see, I'm going to be rocking the extended mags on this one. I've always noticed that the iron sights have been really good on the SCAR, as always. So, I've, I've been using that, and I've been using the kick proficiency. It helps out a lot in this game. The kick, I mean, I think... The guns in this game have, you know, their recoils at times, but, you know, if you have kick on it, it makes it all more easier for you guys to use. Uh, like I said, some some techs and stuns. But uh, I think with this gun, as strong as it is, but at times where it can fail you, I think it's probably best for you to have sleight of hand, just because you might see this gun actually a lot, so if anybody's either rushing you, or if you see someone down range, you really want to try and take them out as quick as you can to stay alive for your team and get the objective done. So. Uh, I've always been using the sleight of hand uh, perk for this one and quick draw and dead silence to follow it up. So uh, moving on to my fourth class, it is going to be the G36C. Now this gun is brought back from Call of Duty 4 and it was actually pretty pretty good in Call of Duty 4. I, I was pretty impressed of how it actually entered this game kind of with the same uh, kind of with the same role of the whole gun. But um, <laughs> I've always kind of really like this gun and kind of really not you know it does come through with me uh, with the kick proficiency on with the red dot now this gun really does have a lot of recoil if you do not use the kick proficiency so I do want to let you guys know that right off the bat uh, so if you are going to use this gun definitely look into the kick uh, proficiency it does help out a lot with long range kills and if you're going to use this gun for long range or any kind of you know uh, if you're just going to sit back and kind of you know be a, a support I would definitely use a kick just because if you single shot your gun, your gun is more likely like not even to move at all. So if you can really be like a marksman and tap your trigger and tap your trigger and hold it or you know mix up the burst shots with your different assault rifles, it really does help out a lot. Now my fifth class is the fad with the red dot with kick. Now my teammate Ryan uses this gun all the time and he says that it's pretty much like the tar from Modern Warfare 2. Now, the iron sights, you'll notice, once you get this gun, if you don't have the uh, red dot unlocked, it's it's a pretty weird looking gun, I'm not going to lie. Even if you can see the picture right now, it's a pretty weird looking gun. Uh, but, you know, the iron sights and the damage, I think, are really close to kind of the tar, and the red dot with the kick is absolutely incredible on this gun. Uh, I've seen him absolutely destroy kids in game battles with it, so, uh, you know, with the sleight of hand and quick draw, really, really puts you in like a dominant position of actually, you know, slaying everybody that you see. So, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys could, please leave the video a like and a comment and tell me what you guys think of all my classes. I could be doing an SMG uh, class setup. I'm not really too much of a rusher, but if you guys would like to see some SMG classes for me of what I think, uh, please let me know. Leave it in the comment section below, and I'll try and get that for you guys. But anyways, guys, I'm going to be heading out here in a bit, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time.